How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play How Sweet It Is as recorded by Marvin Gaye on guitar. This is a classic song and I'm going to break the whole thing down for you step by step so when you're done with this lesson you'll have everything you need to go play right along with the original recording. Before we dive into it though, I want to hook you up with something at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack that you can download that goes along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, you're going to get so much more out of being able to follow along with a good tab. So check that out as my gift to you at the first link down below. And with that said, let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play How Sweet It Is as recorded by Marvin Gaye on guitar. Now this song's in the key of C, and we're gonna start off with the chorus section. The song starts out on the chorus, and it uses three chords. Here's what it sounds like. A one, and two, and three, and four, and... So I'm starting out on an F chord, and the song's in the key of C, so it's starting on the 4 right away, and we've got an F, you can play it like this, you know, your standard F bar chord, 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. But I actually prefer this Jimi Hendrix style thumb chord here, so I've got my thumb on the 1st fret of the low E string, and then on the 4th string, and down from there I'm playing 3, 2, and if you want, you can get all the way to the high string as well and grab that first fret. So that's my F chord. And we're going to play F for one bar. One, two, three, four. Then we'll put the G in the bass. And this is a very common R&B chord. And then we go to a C. And you could do the C here, or I'm going to play a bar chord here on the third fret of the fifth string. So three, five, five, five. So this over the words, how sweet it is to be loved by C, two, three, four, then C, two, three, four. Now, if these chords are too hard, you could always just play, you know, F to G and then C like that. That would work as well. So one, two, three, four. So let's talk about a sample kind of strumming pattern that you could do. For the groove, you can break up kind of the bass notes and then the higher strings like this. So I'm playing the F chord, I'm hitting the sixth string, then I'm hitting the remainder of those strings there from four down, one, two, and, and then I come back to the F, but it's kind of muted, so one, two, and, and then three and four and so one two and three and four and so i'm, I'm kind of creating a, a bass part there and then one two and three and then i'm finishing with four and just scratch strums there so one two and three and four and one two and three and four and c Again. So I'm going to use that as just a general strumming pattern that I can play through the entire song. And I'm accenting that one, two, and three, and four, and you know, it's got a backbeat kind of feel to it. Okay, then we get into the verse, and the verse is another four bar progression. Here's what that sounds like. Okay, so here I'm going from a C chord for a bar to A minor seven. And that's barring here on the fifth fret with my index finger and then my thumb on the root note A. Then I go down to G 
This is the same as the F chord, just two frets higher, and then down to F. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I post brand new lessons every single day, so you don't miss a video. So one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. And then with the groove, goes two times. Then we get to the pre-chorus, and this is where the lyrics sing with sweet love and devotion. We're gonna go from a C to an F. Here's what it sounds like. chorus here. Okay, so all of this pre-chorus section is just a C to an F, one bar each. It's just C, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, F, two, three, four. And then you stay there. How sweet it is to be loved back to see too. So again, I'm keeping that same groove going one, two, and three, and four, and then switch to F. And then there's these little hits. You can hit beat two a little bit harder when, when Marvin sings, I just want to stop. And then you go one, two, three, and thank you, baby. Chorus. Have fun practicing these classic R&B rhythm guitar parts. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you some PDF tabs that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, you can check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a lot of great courses on there that are step-by-step -step curriculums for learning specific styles. So check that out. Thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in the next video.